Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into what has been going on with Butter. I thought I'd dedicate an entire video just explaining the song Butter and just talk about it. This is BTS's new song, May 21st. I have a lot of thoughts on the teaser and it just being queued up for radio play already. And of course, ARMY's being mad. BTS also kind of quote unquote insults this American celebrity. I wanted to get into that. It's actually a very funny and cute tea. Let's so grab your dumpling at Tea Spilling Mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime when your video drops. And if he's a hater, like to be the first of your hate comment, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. If you aren't aware, BTS is planning a comeback. So prepare your streaming devices. Have it charged up for May 21st, okay? We are about to support my husbands. Their new song is called Butter. For the past few weeks, or maybe just one week, they have been releasing these teasers. At first, they released just kind of photos of showing the name of the song, and it was very bright and yellow. Also with a name like Butter, it doesn't sound like a sad song. Now, when they released these teaser clips or concept clips, I think a lot of us were maybe hoping to hear a little bit of butter in them, but it was just instrumentals from other songs. However, from the song, you get a feel of a party vibe. It's just having fun with lights and flashy cameras. Even the concept photos appear that way as well. Looks like a fun high school party. So we do know it'll probably be a light fun song. I think they're putting these darker concept clips to kind of throw us off and make us think it'll be a sad song, but I think it'll be a hot to dance song with maybe a dance break in there. For the most part, there's no controversy here. People seemed to be okay with the concept and no one was angry. Now recently this radio host called Waters on Air, this is his Twitter account, I don't know if this is his name, I'll call him DJ Waters, if it's not his name I'll correct myself. But there has been some controversy with him and BTS ARMY for a little while and I wanted to get into that first. So apparently he had an argument with an ARMY who claimed that radio isn't a legitimate way to tell if a song is popular or whatnot. And I do agree to some extent. Radio, and not just radio, mainstream media gets it wrong or it's too late most of the time. America could have jumped on the K-pop bandwagon ages ago. But you have the corporation gatekeeping the media and deciding that it's not worth paying attention to when the entire world was already doing so. This is evident with the Grammys. And a statement that came out about them not wanting to write about BTS allegedly, this was from one of the ex-Grammy writers. So I do think there's a delay, but not exactly a good indicator of popularity. But Waters was arguing that it was a good indicator. And you know what? He works in radio. That's his opinion. And he has his reasons for believing that. If he attacks radio, he'll be blacklisted from working on the radio. And radio reaches an older audience that is in their car all day because they have to drive to and from work every day. It allows an audience that wouldn't normally be on Twitter or YouTube all day to hear BTS and like them. Waters also mentioned saying this, and streaming the same song for eight hours on loop in another room while you sleep is a good metric? No ma'am. Radio is here to stay because it's the most legitimate measure of what people like to hear. Now this is where I disagree a little bit because I don't think it's only ARMY streaming the song over and over again. If that were the case, then every song would have the same global success as Dynamite and all that. It's because Dynamite did reach a huge amount of new people people that ended up streaming it themselves. However, this is not an attack on BTS if someone does believe what Water believes because I can see where they're coming from. A lot of people do think that BTS success is only based on like 100 people replaying their music over and over again. But that's just looking at it from the outside. I never get mad when people think that. It's not an insult on BTS and their music. It doesn't mean their music is bad or anything like that. Now we get into the newer tea that was posted yesterday. And I have some thoughts on this. But I wanted to explain why people had an issue with him even though many celebrities or hosts have said way worse things, like racist things. Waters have been very vocal about his support for BTS by just automatically playing BTS's songs and giving them more radio play. I don't know if a lot of these armies are aware of radio play is something a lot, and I mean a lot of K-pop idols who try to debut or come back in America struggle with. So of course, we thank him for playing the song. Recently, he posted a picture of him receiving the MP3 file for Butter. I suppose the label sent it to him, and they're getting ready to queue it up for when the song drops. He tweeted about it and showed his support. I like that they're already pretty much guaranteed radio radio play before it even drops. I think even Dynamite took a bit of time to garner media attention in America. I could be wrong. But people were coming for him because that old thing he said and basically saying he's a clout chaser and not wanting his support, saying this. First off, he's a clout chaser. Stop giving him attention. Second, stop asking for hints and spoilers. Our fandom does not tolerate leaks and spoilers from anyone. 21st is not that far. Respect BTS and their hard work. I didn't see Waters drop any spoilers. BTS obviously doesn't need radio play in America. They have been very successful without for a very long time. However, they are looking and hoping to win a Grammy. And some rules have changed a bit. I might talk about it in the future, but Grammy at least used to be widely determined by people in the industry. And all these fake fans do is attack people in the industry. That doesn't help BTS. If someone is saying, follow me and I'll play BTS on the radio, um, yeah, I'll follow you 
get BTS on that radio. I don't care if these hosts are using BTS for clout, as long as they play BTS on the radio. I'm not saying Waters is, I'm saying if. As long as they're publicly showing support, then it doesn't matter to me. These TV shows aren't putting BTS on their show out of the kindness of their heart. They're doing it because they know if BTS is on their show or radio, people will tune in. But also, if BTS is getting more exposure, then eventually they'll get their Grammy. And that's all I want for them, is for them to get what they want. It's a win-win. Even though I don't think they need a Grammy, they can do better than a Grammy. BTS appears in so little talk shows and award shows as is. I would love to see them do more. They do have their own reality TV show called Run BTS. It's a variety show. And they basically do their own games on the show. The members have a lot of fun kind of teasing each other but also being a really competitive and we get to see that. In their recent episode 140, they were playing this game called Celebrity Quiz or something. And the objective of this game is for the producer to put up a celebrity and the members had to guess the name of the celebrity. Or if they know the celebrity, just say the name. A lot of the members got a lot of celebrities wrong and it's pretty funny. Jimin got like half of them wrong. But it was apparently J-Hope's turn and the producers flashed up a picture of Conan, our lovely redheaded talk show host. He's been on the air for over 20 years. He's actually an icon and people in Korea love him. He's popular there. It seems like the other members knew who Conan was, but J-Hope stuttered and then said curtain, which is close. I think he was thinking of an American celebrity host and confused Conan with Corden and just mixed the two. It was funny because everyone was mad at him and was like, how did you not know? But what was even funnier was apparently Conan got wind of this and saw the run BTS clip. He called it a Korean variety show, which I do believe it's BTS's own show. So just clearing that up. But Conan saw the clip of J-Hope calling Conan curtain. Conan was to say the least a little bit insulted, a little hurt, but in a playful way. I didn't see he was actually mad. I think he thought it was really funny, but Andy, who is Conan's co-host, was mentioning maybe J-Hope said curtain because their show was ending soon and they had to draw the curtain, but quickly redacted that and said, yeah, maybe not. And I thought that was hilarious. Conan continued to joke that he is popular in Korea and he is called curtain now. He was very jokingly talking about how he is going to get BTS for this, but hey, it's not like the entire BTS, just J-Hope. The rest of the members knew, I'm joking. But I think J-Hope does know your name. I think it was just in the heat of the moment and the pressure got to him. Conan continued to say that he's going to be angry at them in silence because he actually has no power to do anything and that BTS is young and will go on to do great things. But Conan, you're still very much relevant and even after the show ends, which I think he said it will end in June, I think Conan will still leave his mark on other shows or simply on social media too. So many memes came from his show and BTS knows who you are, I promise you. J-Hope definitely knows who you are and I think it would be awesome if they could be on the show before it officially ends. Conan is really big in Korea and I was definitely shocked BTS was not on the show more often or at all really, right? I don't think so. I wonder why. But I think they should have met. Conan is a big supporter of Korea and K-pop, and he did a music video with JYP and Steven Young. So I think Conan would have made BTS feel welcomed and probably make good, tasteful jokes and all that. Maybe they could have done a cute music video together. That would have been so funny and cool. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you like to see over there. Link is in the top description down below. We also have such a fun time over there interacting and all that, so make sure you check it out. I have a video over there that I just made talking about Asian and media and my experience with that. It would mean a lot to me if you went and checked that out. It also goes a little bit about how you can support this channel even more if you'd like to do so. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end in this video so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye!